Welcome to Illegal Dog Fights. Here we have Jack armed with a weapon. Yes, that's right. We have armed the dog. He doesn't quite grasp the concept of the, the weapon. So, hey, I do want to talk about uh, a couple of things here in my experience. So, about me, one of the things I used to do... Come here! When I was a young man, I was a quote-unquote professional dog walker. I worked for a company and everything. Drop it! Drop it! Juliet! Drop it! Drop it! Hey, you drop it. You're making me look bad. Drop it! Drop it! Okay, good girl. No. Sit! You know, look at me like you don't understand me. Sit! Juliet, sit. Sit. Good girl. That e collar just got used, by the way, with the vibrate. Not the shock, the vibrate. Anyway, let me throw this for them and then I'll tell my story. Go. And it's off to the races. <laughs> Alright, so I was a professional dog walker for a company. And uh, I came across a, a collie. So this lassie looking dog. Now, as soon as I get to the house, I read the little report on what the dog is, what's going on with the dog. Basically, the owner says, keep the dog in the cage. The dog cannot be allowed outside of the, of the cage. So, get the leash leash up the dog in the cage, take the dog out. Now I can tell right away that this dog had some serious anxiety. I was very new to dogs at the, that point in time. But even then I could see it had, it had serious anxiety, did not like to be in the cage. And if you don't know what a collie is, think of like Lassie. Uh, this is a an animal that's meant to run in a field all day, every day, chase down sheep and keep sheep together. It's a it's a working breed. It's bred for a purpose. So it needs an outlet for that. So I would take the dog out on on a run because, you know, I like to do that. Drop. Juliet, drop. Why is Jack the trained one now? Juliet, drop it. Good girl. Jack, sit. Jack, stay. Juliet. Juliet. Anyway, so, you can't find it. <sighs> the smartest breed here, but I'll let her look. Jack, go! And Jack's off to the races. He knows where it's at. Or not. So, I'm demonstrating with these two what should have been done with that collie. Um, yeah, I would take the dog out for a run, but this is a 15 to 30 minute walk that I could give the dog because that's all that they were paying for. This is basically just a poop and pee walk. Um, and it was my understanding that this dog was just left inside of that, that kennel, that cage, 24-7 uh, with the exception of walks. So, I mean, this is kind of a self-fulfilling... Uh, self-fulfilling process and uh self-fulfilling um not, not prophecy self-fulfilling prophecy as well as a uh, vicious cycle so the more anxiety that the dog gets the more the owners think that it needs to be kept inside of the cage because it's going to tear stuff up it's going to rip up the house it's going to chew on things dogs do stuff like that when they have anxiety they're going to paw at the ground they're going to you know chew on your shoes because they miss you believe it or not that's why they chew on your shoes and your socks it's because it has your scent and it reminds them of you and it makes them happy to do that so when you come home and you're mad at them they understand they did something wrong they just don't really know why it's wrong so if you're going to get a dog whether it's a doberman pitcher 
yeah, Doberman Pinscher. Sorry, I'm choking on my words here because the Nats, or it's a Collie, or Golden Retriever, Belgian Malinois, German Shepherd, or a Pug. Do your due diligence to find out what that dog needs from you, the owner, to lead a, a healthy and happy life. There are dogs out there that are couch potatoes. Um, I mentioned Pug. Don't get a Pug, by the way. Uh, they come with, I mean, they're funny, silly, lovable creatures. Don't get me wrong on that. I, I do love Pugs, but don't get a Pug because of all the health problems that come with them. That, you know, smushed up face they have um, is just basically causes them soft pain and suffering. And, you know, I don't believe there's any bad dogs out there, but that dog does not have a good life. You got to do a lot of work for them to uh, keep them healthy and happy. What do, you, what do you say, Jack? Should I stop running my trap? You gonna bark all day, little doggy? Yeah, so I do my best to keep these two exercised so that they're healthy and happy. Please don't leave your dog locked in a cage. I wanted to get a wolf dog, but then I did my due diligence and I did my research for what a wolf dog would need. And in the suburbs, where I live, um, I don't have the land uh, or time ugh, to give a wolf dog all of the, the outlets that it needs. So I don't have a wolf dog. The Dobies, yeah, I can wear them out. Like and subscribe for more illegal dog fights and me rambling on about how to care for dogs. Blah.